UMOM has a pretty robust in-kind donations program. We started pretty small. I think like most nonprofits, we will take what people are willing to give. During COVID, we found the community was very generous and we started to receive a huge influx of in-kind donations. And we started to see them in bulk and volume that we couldn't accommodate in our small spaces on our UMOM campus. We had a small room inside of our shelter where we would collect donations and we have now escalated our in-kind donations program to a 12,000 square foot warehouse. In-kind donations are basically anything other than money. They're things that we can use, we can use at UMOM or we can use for our clients. This warehouse is the catalyst and the magic really to accomplish a large part of our mission of solving family homelessness. We have corporations and companies and organizations coming here dropping things off. We rack it and we stack it and we inventory it, but then we redistribute it out into the community to our participants in their, in their apartments. In our 60-year history, we probably accepted in-kind donations from very early on when we were a street outreach organization. We've got a lot of individuals dropping off donations of items we need like clothing, linens, all sorts of household goods that we can use. And then we also have trucks going out to big box retailers who are part of the grocery rescue program that help provide us with food and other household items. And we also send our team out regularly to pick up goods from distribution centers that have either returned items, items that are no longer being sold, and have been marked out and they give those to us in mixed pallets that we never would have been able to accept in a smaller space. When we have a space like this, what we're able to do is use the power of bulk purchasing to buy what we need in quantities that are advantageous to us and then store it. The other thing that's really helpful is when we have overstock, we can redistribute that to community partners in a way that's meaningful and that is something that has allowed us to save tons of time and money for the organization. UMOM currently operates a homegrown training program where we allow participants in any of our shelter or housing programs to go through a six-week culinary training program. We are hoping with this warehouse space to evolve that to include a warehouse track where folks can come in, they can get forklift certified, they can learn to operate within a warehouse environment, jobs that we know are paying livable wages for our families and single women. And so we are really hoping to launch this next iteration of homegrown program to include warehouse and distribution. So far the community seems very interested in the work that we're doing here. We have found that we can partner with other nonprofits and other community members that might benefit from a donation that we received that was beyond what we needed but don't necessarily have the space themselves to house donations in a long-term way. So we really hope and want to evolve this space and program to include community partners in a more formal way because we just think that doing these things together benefits each of the agencies individually and all of the clients that we serve.